Hi guys, Jeremy here, and in this video, I'll walk you through how to use smart list and effectively manage your contacts inside Go High Level. Before we dive in, if you are new to Go High Level, I've got an exclusive 30 day free trial link in the description below. Now, if you sign up with my link, you're going to get a 30 day free trial instead of the standard 14 day free trial. On top of that, I'll provide you access to my Go High Level Jumpstart course, which will help you get started quickly and make the most out of the platform. Now, let's dive in. So the first thing that you need to know about Go High Level's contacts and smart lists is that in Go High Level, contacts are essentially a master list where all of your customer data is kept, while smart lists are dynamic segments that you create based on specific criteria. So instead of creating separate static lists, all your contacts are in one big bucket and you can filter them out based on different criteria like tags, engagement history, birthdays, or any other detail that makes sense for your business. With contacts, think of it like a big container where all of your customer information is stored, like their names, emails, phone numbers, tags, and more. Now, this is the central place for tracking everything related to each customer and make sure that you have a comprehensive overview of all of their interactions. On the other hand, smart lists are dynamic segments of your contacts that change automatically as conditions are met. Unlike older systems where you create static lists, Go High Level gives you the flexibility to segment contacts without having to manually move them around. Now, smart lists allow you to create dynamic segments of your contacts based on specific behaviors or attributes. For example, if you want to uh, have a list of contacts who recently opened an email or interacted with a campaign, you simply set those conditions and Go High Level will update that list automatically as contacts meet or no longer meet those conditions. Now, this automation keeps your list current without any manual intervention, meaning that you can focus more on your marketing efforts rather than constantly managing your contact lists. I think that this is a really effective way to manage your contacts because it saves you a lot of time and gives you more control over your targeting. Instead of moving contacts between different static lists based on their behavior, you can filter them based on their current activity using smart lists. Now, this means that all your contacts stay in one main list, but you can create segments on the fly to make your marketing more precise and relevant. Hopefully that makes sense to you. And as we continue, you'll see more examples of how to use smart lists to really enhance your marketing strategy. All right, now that we've covered contacts and smart lists, let's talk about adding contacts. The contacts page in Go High Level is designed to make the process straightforward and organized. So let's walk through what each section does. Now, when you are on the contacts page, you'll see different sections that help you manage and organize your contacts effectively. The first section is smart lists, which we just talked about. Smart lists lets you organize contacts based on different attributes like location, purchase history, or engagement. Now, this makes it easy to target specific groups for your campaigns. Next up, we have bulk actions. Now, this feature allows you to apply actions to multiple contacts at once. It's incredibly helpful when you need to communicate with a large number of people at the same time without repeating the same action over and over again. There's also a restore section, which allows you to recover any contacts that you might have deleted by mistake. It's a handy feature that saves you from losing important contact information. Another important section is tasks, where you can assign tasks to yourself or your team members directly from the contacts page. The company section allows you to link multiple contacts to a single business or client. Finally, there's a manage smart list where you can create and modify smart lists to keep your contact management organized and effective. Okay, now that you have an overview of the contacts page, let's go ahead and add some new contacts. Adding contacts in Go High Level is really simple. Just click on the 
add sign on the contacts page and a contact form will open. Now let me show you how to fill out each section of the form. First, there's the personal logo field. Now this is where you can add an image or logo for the contact by clicking on the add icon. Now make sure that the image size is 512 by 512 pixels and no larger than 2.5 megabytes. Then we have the first name and last name fields. Just fill in the contact's name here and make sure that you enter these details accurately so that you can easily identify the contact later. In the email field, you can add the contact's email address and you can also add multiple email addresses by clicking on the add email button, which is helpful if a contact has more than one email. Next, we have the phone number section where you can select the country code and enter the phone number. And you can add multiple phone numbers if needed. The contact type dropdown allows you to categorize the contact as a lead, a customer, vendor, or whatever makes sense for your business. Now, this helps in segmenting your contacts easily. There's also a time zone setting, which allows you to set the contacts time zone. Now, this helps you schedule communications and automations to be sent at times that are convenient for your contacts. The DND or do not disturb checkbox is for contacts who do not wish to be contacted through specific channels like emails, text messages, calls, or voicemail. Now you can also choose to block emails, text messages, calls, or voicemails separately based on their preferences. Now, once you've filled all the necessary details, just click the save button to add the contact to your CRM. And now that you know how to add individual contacts, Let's talk about importing multiple contacts using a CSV file. Now, if you have an existing list that you want to bring into Go High Level, it's super easy to do with a CSV import. Now, to import contacts, click on the Import Contact icon. Once you click, a pop-up will appear and you'll go through three steps to complete the process. The first step is Upload. Click the upload a file on the contacts page and you can either drag and drop your CSV file or you can click upload a file to select it from your computer. Now make sure that the file is, a, is in CSV format and under 50 megabytes. Now once it's uploaded, click the next button and the next step is map. Go High Level will prompt you to map the columns in your CSV to the corresponding fields in the contact form. For example, you'll map the column containing names to the name field and so on. Carefully review these mappings to ensure that they're accurate and click next when you're ready. Finally, there's the details step. Now you need to give your import a name so that you can easily find it later. Now you can create a smart list from the import if you want to group those contacts. There are a few advanced options here too, like you can add new contacts, update existing ones, or do a combination of both. Set your matching preferences to avoid duplicates and add tags for easy filtering. Now, once all the details are provided, click the consent box and click submit to complete your import. All right, so we've covered how to add contacts. So now let's move on to organizing them with tags. Tags are a great way to group contacts based on specific attributes like their engagement level, their interest, or the source of the lead. It makes everything more organized and helps you target the right audience for your marketing efforts. To add a tag, head over to the Contacts tab. Select the contact that you want to tag and click Add Tag. Now you can create custom tags like Hot Lead, Webinar Attendee, VIP Customer, or even tags related to specific platforms like YouTube. After you've added a tag, you might wonder how to confirm that it's actually applied. It's super easy. All you need to do is click on filters and then look for the tag and apply that filter to your contacts. Now this will display all the contacts with tags. This way you can easily confirm if everything is set up as you intended. Now, let's say that for some reason you wanna remove tags from your contacts. Maybe a campaign is over or perhaps the tag is no longer relevant to your marketing strategy. The process is very easy. You can remove tags from a single contact or even from multiple contacts in bulk. To remove a tag, simply select the contact that has the tags that you want to remove. When the pop-up appears, you'll need to enter the action name. 
So if you want to remove all tags from those contacts, check the box next to remove all tags. But if you only want to remove a specific tag, you can write the tag name in the tags field or choose it from the drop down menu and then hit remove tags. Now, this gives you the flexibility to clean up outdated tags while still keeping other important tags intact. All right, now let's get into creating smart lists. Let's say that you want to create a smart list, but when you first come to manage smart lists, you might notice that there's nothing there, which can be a bit confusing, but don't worry, it's actually quite simple to set up once you know where to start. To create a smart list, head over to the Contacts tab and click on More Filters. Inside here, you'll find tons of different filters to manipulate your list in whatever way works best for your needs. For this example, let's say that I want to create a smart list for people from specific countries. To do that, I'm going to select the Country Filter. I'll choose the country, United States, and then click on Apply. And what you'll see now is a list of all the people who belong to the United States. It's a really good practice to add a filter for each type of engagement or milestone because it makes future segmentation very easy. The great thing about Go High Level Smart List is how easy it is to switch between them and see what's going on. Each smart list also shows you the number of people included. So if you're adding new contacts through automations or other methods, you can see those numbers change in real time. This gives you a real powerful tool to keep track of your audience and how they're engaging with your business. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I hope that you have found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that too. I've got a ton of Go High Level tutorials coming up. And if you're not part of the Go High Level yet, remember, I've got an exclusive 30-day free trial link in the description below. So go check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.